Chapter 6 Where did you get to? Grandpa asked Bartola when Ravain and Neptali arrive at house. Well, Ravain and I went to Waterfall, the rain caught us there. He taught the cave is mine. We took shelter there, Neptali explained to her grandfather. Then Neptali said goodbye to her, he will be taken to his room. Carrie, Carrie it's him because he seems to be still weak as knees. Take a shower and then change clothes, he said while putting her down on the bed. Just a moment and I will call man on looting. After that it came out of his room. He was suffocated by his soaking in the rain, Neptali didn't leave her side though. There are assistants who can take care of him. He saw how much she cared for him and how it a-worried. He promised here that he will take her around the hacienda when she recovers he. When he completely recovered, he invited him in the cornfield. Corn harvest now that time. He wants it to see the harvesting that. Horse riding is the two of them raced across a wide field of hacienda. When they arrive at the cornfield, it begins when the workers reaped. He invited her he went to harvest together. He suddenly thought about what he said. Not yet, because he tried to do the thing to reap the corn, just now someone invited him do that. Some staff were reluctant to allow them to help them in the harvest. But he and Neptali insisted. They have also been lent of these clothes to put on the wear them. She didn't mind if she was far from being glamorous at that moment. Even sweaty that he doesn't care. Seeing the admiration reflected in his eyes made her feel beautiful. The pleasure of being with it is simple work no he thought he would enjoy doing it. It really surprised her. They roasted some of the corn they harvested, they are tired and hungry. Later invited, he is in the rice field. Arriving there is right, those who grow rice correctly. Farmer by the mischievous gleam in his eyes, she knew that he wanted to get a shot at it, too. Oh, no, he refused. Come on, Ravain, don't be a spoil sport. He carved him until he carved he will also agree to what he wants to do. The surprise on their faces was obvious farmers when they also went down to the farm and start planting. Better understood, he now does the work of the farmers. Now he realized that he should appreciate every grain of rice-eaten he. He still thinks that is not enough payment received by them in the hardship of their day job. When noon came, he was invited by Neptali to share food with those farmer. Come on, let's get what we brought. Food, he said to her. You know what? You will be a good boss for the Hacienda people. And then she pictured him manifesting order to all the workers while doing the petty job with them. Smiled, he thought that. Why, thank you, he said. But these are yours people, Ravain. They also need to sympathize from time to time. Try to know the nature of their job so you can appreciate them better. He was late walking back to long table covered with Nipa. It has caught up with the workers. Unmixed it's a shame to socialize with those Hacienda worker, and it seems to agree it's also people. In the few days they were together there were many the good qualities seen here. And she knew that her heart was treading on A. Dangerous Battlefield but her heart was stubborn, because everyone strives for it Neptali's good nature and trying to understand the negative qualities of it, if any. Only now did he realize that hardly ever Alex thought. It seems too much he was amused by the presence of Neptali Para can even imagine the ex-boyfriend and then their separation before the workers returned to farm he called the attention of those this. I know how rich you are the land of the Hacienda. And I appreciated all your tiredness to enrich the earth, let me go. I'll talk to grandpa, increase your wages, he said to these. They don't agree with each other. Shouting when he looked at Neftali, in its eyes the approval of those, he said. Ravain fulfilled his promise to those worker. He talked to his grandfather, he and Neptali returned home. He did the everything he could to convince her. He didn't want to disappoint them personnel. They owe so much to these are why the Hacienda remains stable. He had no difficulty in convincing the grandfather it agreed with his suggestions. He didn't even hear any objection to it. It seemed that he was even happy with his observations. After dinner it was said goodbye to them to rest. Invited he and Neptali were having coffee on the porch. In despite the clear sky it was cold. The breeze is still there. I'm happy with what you did. He said put down the cup of what he was drinking on the small table coffee, no. Actually, you're the one who opened the eyes me to do that thing, he said, smiling. You helped me realize how much I should value our workers. 
It used to be he barely peeks into the affairs of the Hacienda more time as he kept in Manila rather than there. Even though I would have done that otherwise you really want, nothing will happen, he said before sipping coffee again. They both fell silent after that. Only the noise of the crickets can be heard around. Have you made up your mind about what you want? Happen to our grandfathers when it is it asked. In this re-examination of the agreement that he didn't feel anything any more objection now, she felt willing to be his wife. And bear his kids. Now, where did that thought come from? Their little voice in his mind. He shook the head to banish that thought. I would like to object to the preference I can't do anything about him. He's using emotional blackmail, he said in a light tone. He even teased that with a soft laugh. Then Lolo might disown me if I'm not agreed. He also laughed at what he said. You? Are you ready to sacrifice? He asked too. Sacrifice? I wouldn't call it that. If is my husband going to be that beautiful, alas, I would call it a good grace. Its eyes seemed to be dancing with joy. While saying that, he couldn't guess if he was joking or if he is serious about what he said. He chose better the latter is strong. But she was disturbed when he momentarily stopped laughing and gave her a disturbing look. He didn't do it anymore, there's still a way to find out if it's serious or not what. He is afraid of the unlikely reason. The surroundings seemed so romantic. His expression appeared romantic, too. The moon illuminated his handsome face. Add the fragrant fragrance that is blown by those blooming flowers in the garden. When our marriage doesn't work, there is an annulment, right? He says when in arms he saw the drawing of anger in those its eyes and resistance. Is that because of? He said, but it was so fleeting that she thought she was only imagining things. Yeah, if we can show them that the marriage won't work, they might also think that is absurd it was their idea. Don Bartolo watches Ravain and Neptali from her room. It seems they are in agreement with the talk about. Looking at them now, he knew that his gut feeling was right. He is right in mind for they are each other. He knew it would be their married life is successful. He then remembered their conversation with friend Fortune. I would like to ask you something, Fortune, for also in our friendship. I wish convince your grandson to marry the grandson me. Huh? What came to your mind and you suggested that thing? Why? Don't you want to be the only one? Our clan? It is also a way to deepen our friendship will be stronger. But Bartolo, my grandson is very stubborn, Naftali. I'm sure it won't be easy for it was up to me to convince him to agree, said it said hesitantly. He is still in Singapore now. I don't know about that boy why more still want to work there. It's good and I was convinced to come back when I said yes the company is in trouble. My granddaughter Ravain is also there as stubbornness, but I will find a way. Create you have a way too, Fortune. When you agree your grandson, I will give all the help you need. And besides, your grandson is not inferior to my grandson either because Ravain is beautiful. When they meet too, I'm sure the grandson will love him too. You do everything, Fortune, to be they are husband and wife, he pleaded. It nodded in agreement. Not it is also a form of determination to be fulfilled, he asked. He smiled bitterly with that memory. He didn't want to empathize with his friend and his problem, but necessary. Even if he told her he didn't have anything account friend is no he will also understand him one day. He just needs someone to take care of his grandson, and he just met you for the first time Neptali saw the determination of the Willet and its principle in life. With it he sees the security of his grandson, even if they hate him because of. His manipulation will be left alone for now. It's his, for the good of all. He does. One day it will be understood. He of them.